to the vlog, guys. Today is Saturday, uh, January 13th, and it we're is freezing. Oh yeah, it's like 30 <laughs> degrees outside. She looks super cozy though in her big I'm thick jacket. I'm freezing. I think it's like 20 degrees. Oh yeah, it's extremely cold. But right now we're at Kona Grill in downtown Fort Worth, meeting her uncle to eat. It's like nine o'clock right now, and I didn't get off work until like super late, so I'm still in like all my work clothes right now. <laughs> we're having a late dinner. But this place is really good. We came here for my 17th birthday, right? Or 18th? 18. All right. Wait, so. yeah, 18. <laughs> super busy right now like so many people and usually when we come here there's not that many people but it's literally packed right now but this place is really nice so I guess that's why there's like only those fishes in this huge fish tank there's literally like five of them here's some of the appetizers we got we got some gyoza fish tacos, yeah, so barbecue good. chicken Does flatbread, we, uh, and then the same flatbread. This looks good. And you guys have had this before? Yes. And then here's the spicy shrimp tempura. It's like battered and then it has this sauce over it. Then we also got sushi. So this is uh, spicy tuna, California, some special roll, and then this is yellowtail, right? Yellowtail uh, yeah, with yellow jalapenos. Here is this carrot cake. It's literally like three layers. It's yeah, huge. Funny. Yeah. It's the size of a hand. It's, this is huge. And then the two brownies are huge too. Look at that. And it has ice cream. These are fudge brownies. These look so good. So here's a dessert and they got another flatbread coming. <laughs> okay, so it's the next day now, Sunday obviously, and we're at the Tanger Outlet right now. We started this vlog kind of late. It's like Five? 5.40. <laughs> we slept in really late last night because yeah. we were extremely tired, but right now we're gonna go to H&M Express and see Man because I need to get some more work shirts, a brown belt, and some black shoes for work. He needs some more work attire. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, we need to kind of hurry because it's like 5.40 and, and the they close at close seven. at seven. Quick OOTD, I literally look like a boy, but I'm just wearing this cropped Nike crew neck, Nike joggers, black Nike shoes. Um, it's freezing out, so I chose warmth over um, cuteness, but this is like what I wear whenever I don't try. Okay, so I got these four, three shirts, and then this uh, little sweater, and then a belt, and three pair of socks. Hey, do you want to show them your OOTD? No. I showed them mine. I don't he like didn't want to show you. <laughs> it's just like simple. What do you mean? I look like a boy. You look cute. You look cute too. He has the same, we have the same shoes on though. Same Nikes. <laughs> okay, next is Steve Madden to look at some black dress shoes. And I'm gonna look for some shoes. I don't know what I want, but I'm just gonna look. Here. Okay. So here's all the guys. Here's our options. Hmm, let's see what I want. These are like Gucci. Oh yeah, I actually like this those. This gives me Gucci vibes. All right. Okay, here's our two options that we're deciding between. The Gucci vibes one or this one? These are more just simple and these are like I know. flashy. I like these. I don't know which one Which one do you like more. The snake ones. Yeah, these look like more cool. And they're both like equally comfortable. Yeah, so we're going with those. For sure. Guys, look at these shoes. What size are those? The seven. Those are so cute. Tell me these don't look exactly like the Balenciagas. If you guys know what the Balenciagas are, you know these literally look the exact same. Guys, they're literally 50% off too, so they're only 50 bucks. So that's literally like not even a fraction of the cost of the real Balenciaga. Yeah, the normal ones are like seven. Like the only difference is that it doesn't say Balenciaga right there, but I might cop these. I really like them. Okay, so I'm getting the shoes because they're 50% off the $49.99, so then they're only like 25 bucks, and then Mason's getting his shoes. Okay. He's getting them for me. <laughs> so tell them what we just found out too. Oh yeah, my, I thought the shoes were gonna be 69, but, but they're, they're 50% off. Yeah, so both of our shoes were 50% off the actual price. That was such a success, guys. Like the total, <laughs> like I did the math, it was only $65 for both of our shoes, and they're like both really nice. Yeah, like his shoes uh, normally, the original price was more than how much he paid for both. So that's awesome. We thought that our prices were what was on the sticker, but both of our shoes got an additional 50 off of that. So if you have a Steve Madden outlet near you, you should definitely check it out because they have like a bomb sale going on right now. Okay, so right now we're going back to Malin's house and they're like cooking all this food and like I'm so hungry. I'm ready to eat. How yeah, about you? So now, yeah, I'm hungry too. But now it is 
six twenty. So when we got here, it was five forty. So mm -hmm. we only took like thirty oh, minutes. That was pretty fast, yeah. That was so fast, and that was such a success. Like our shoes, and then I got four shirts and a belt and three pairs of socks. And then his work clothes. So shopping was definitely a success. Okay, I had to turn on the car light real quick so you guys could see me. But I wanted to mention about the shoes that I got. If you guys don't know what I was talking about, the Balenciagas, the original ones, uh, they're almost like $1,000, and I literally got mine for $27. So, I mean, that's like way better deal. And they look the same, they just don't have the brand name. And I've been looking for those for a while, like a pair of dupes, because I would never pay that much just for some sneakers that would probably get messed up anyways. And it's not like Steve Madden's a bad brand. Like, that. those are still good quality. I just got lucky for how cheap they were because they were on sale. So we just got to my house, and we're watching the big Vikings versus Saints game, and everyone's literally standing up and watching. Mason. I'm showing them that everyone's watching. Maisie, and then they're in here cooking. We're going to have lots of food. To celebrate the game. That's it. Hey, who do you want to win, Grandpa? Yeah. I don't care. I want to win. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No one's going to go to the Super Bowl. No one's going to go to the Super Bowl. Okay, who do you think no is going to win? Uh, obviously, the Saints. There's only 40 seconds left, and they're in field goal range. Just their field goal kicker has to make it. Woo! My mom's rooting yeah. for the Saints too. So, so it's going to be Tom. Hi. Are you getting your diaper changed? <laughs> Now we go and see a pop. Okay, you want Steel City Pops? <laughs> yeah, later. You later? Yeah. This little girl is obsessed with Steel City Pops now. So who do you want to win this game? New Orleans, baby. New Orleans and New England <laughs> Super Bowl. What are those? What are those? I'm a toy. Your toys? Okay, so me and Maisie are sitting at her little miniature table in these little miniature chairs and she's opening her little surprises that she got. Do you, do you like it? What is it? Uh, what is that? Quality bonding time. Did you get two of the same? Yeah. Are you sad? Oh. Yeah. They gave you two of the same. Yeah! Oh man! Oh man, why'd they do that? Oh man! You're gonna have to get a new one. Huh? You're gonna get a new one? Yeah. Yeah. What? The Vikings just scored a touchdown! The Vikings just scored a touchdown and won! That's the final. 29-24. So now the Vikings. Here we go, we'll watch it. So now the Vikings are going to play the Eagles in the NFC Divisional Round and then the uh, Jaguars are playing the Patriots and whoever wins, I'm thinking the Patriots and the Vi uh, Vikings are going to play the Vikings play. It's going to be like the first time like ever that whoever the team is that they're playing in their home stadium in the Super Bowl so that's going to be really cool. But yeah, I'm rooting for the Vikings and the Patriots to play for each other because I like Tom Brady. <laughs> So everyone in this household is now disappointed because, like I said, they all wanted New Orleans to win. I don't really care who won. I just know the Patriots are going to win. What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> Those are her creepy eyes. What you, we got some surf clams going on. And then we have... This pretty plate of papaya. So it has like papaya, string beans, and vermicelli noodles, and it's like in like fish sauce and tomatoes and a bunch of stuff. So yeah, this smells amazing. And then we also have some clams. We got some veggies right here: cucumber, tomato, and lettuce and stuff, bean sprouts. And that is gonna go with our fish and our noodles. These noodles, we wrap it with this fish that's baking right here. Oh, it's clogging up because it's really hot in there. That's dinner so far. There's all the food. 
We're all about to eat now. Well, everyone's already eating. Just give a quick Okay, so we just got done working out and I did chest and Madeline did like her upper body for the first time since her injury. Yeah, I did my shoulders, I did triceps and biceps and like my whole upper body is so sore. I literally have not worked it out in over two, three months. Since October. Since October, literally since this happened. So I had to do really lightweight. Like I did 7.5 and fives for everything, but it felt like it was doing like 50 pounds. Like it felt <laughs> heavy. Yeah, she's gonna be sore for sure tomorrow. Yeah, but this is going to conclude our vlog. This is going up tomorrow. It's Tuesday now, by the way. And we never did after it, so we're doing it right now. <laughs> and we only have 38 seconds left to film on so the camera. So we gotta hurry real quick. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Mason. I'm Madeline. And also, sorry this vlog was all over the place. Uh, we kind of just like didn't have anything planned. We just wanted to vlog just so we could upload, mm. you know? I figured you guys would like that still. So please give this video a thumbs up and share it if you want. And stay we're, tuned for Saturday. Yeah, peace out.